Hey everybody, <laughs> I am Eric Watson, your awesome host of twitch.tv slash gorbash722. Or if you're just looking at this on a YouTube video, then you found my YouTube channel. Good job for that. <laughs> I am the PC editor at leviathan.com, which is an awesome gaming website. You should definitely check out L-E-V-I-A-T-H-Y-N. For sure, check that website out. We've got great articles, reviews, previews, and tons of video content, uh, which you can see at twitch.tv slash leviathantv and our YouTube channel at leviathantv. So right now, I'm going to be playing some Gone Home, which is a very intriguing title that I've been looking forward to playing this year, been very critically acclaimed. I'm a big fan of adventure games. Um, I haven't played too many of the first-person adventure games. Usually those are reserved for more of a horror atmosphere, or survival horror, or mystery or something, um, which I'm a total wuss when it comes to scary games. Not a fan. <laughs> but this one, I think, is more about the emotional drama and just the experience, so I think that will be uh, a little more doable for me. And I think it's a shorter game, so I might be able to play through it. Or I'm going to try to play through it all right now in one sitting, so we'll see uh, how that goes. Might have to take a break, uh, maybe halfway or something, but hopefully we can make do. Um... But Gone Home made uh, our uh, top ten list for Leviathan uh, for the year after much deliberation a few weeks ago, and it made it pretty high up on there. And you know, a lot of people, you know, all these uh, Game of the Year uh, posts are coming out now, and it's on everybody's list. So I really want to check it out, and maybe it's one of those games other people just kind of want to see somebody else play. So hopefully, I can be entertaining for that. <laughs> Or uh, maybe you just want to see another person's experience. This is uh, my first time playing it. In fact, I just had to do a whole bunch of shitty workarounds to even get it to run, which was kind of bizarre. Like, I had to rename files and, and make it pretend that I was running the 32-bit version or something weird. Luckily, the Internet is an amazing place that I can easily look up uh, a problem and only delay this stream by maybe 10 or 15 minutes while I was trying to figure out how to get this game to run, but... Hopefully these guys will get it figured out where the average joke can just have it run immediately upon startup because I did have to do a little bit of extra work to get it going, but not too bad. All right, so gone home. And I don't really know much about this game. Um, I've listened to a little bit of the Giant Bomb podcast. They're doing their deliberations right now, end of the year stuff, and... I heard a little bit of the kind of the basic plot premise, and I know about the basic plot premise, so hopefully, uh, you know, I haven't spoiled too much for myself. I really don't know much going in. I know your takes place in the 90s, and you are a woman who is uh, coming back home from college to an empty house, and then you're supposed to find the mystery of, I guess, where the hell everybody is at. <laughs> so maybe it's more complicated than just trying to find, like, you know, a phone number in the nearest bar everybody's hanging out at, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes, and uh, hopefully it'll go more smoothly than me trying to set it up, and certainly me trying to talk for ten minutes without my mic on. That's always exciting. <laughs> but as long as everything's working now, uh, we can certainly fire it up. Let's get this going. And hopefully my webcam is not in the road. Just kind of put it in a random spot on the bottom. I know to avoid the corners because that's usually where games put shit. And I'm not really sure how the UI looks in this one. And I uh, don't have a second monitor yet, but I am going to be pulling up Twitch on my phone, which is my usual go-to. And that way I can monitor the chat. So anytime you see me looking down slightly, it's me checking the chat. <laughs> using the mouse. That's... Or was. Okay, good. I was like, wait, arrow keys? That's actually awkward. Ironically. You know, I was thinking about that for the overall year. I was looking at uh, Game Informers. They did their... Uh, they actually did a straight comparison, which I thought was interesting, by uh, month by month for uh, releases of the year. And I thought, personally, 
if I didn't have a 3DS, I would definitely say 2012 was a stronger year, I think. But I think this game has been better for indie games. Just a lot of really good indie games being released. But, uh, I mean, I've been playing the shit out of Pokemon on 3DS. And I just got Fire Emblem and Zelda for Christmas. So, right now, it's been pretty good for me. But again, if I didn't have a 3DS, I'd be like, yeah, it's... I probably had more fun last year with last year's games. But I think next year will be amazing now that we've got all the new consoles. And we'll start seeing some new IP like Titanfall and Destiny and all those. So, Not to get too off track, but yeah, I think next year will be the one to look for. Alright. Should be some fun nostalgia, too. I definitely uh, grew up in the 90s, I guess. Late 80s, early 90s. My main stomping grounds. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so that's your premise, I guess. <laughs> Cup. Confirmed cup status. Oh god, now I'm gonna wanna pick everything up. Ah, this game's gonna be terrible for me. I'm gonna be looking at everything. I've gotta have this Christmas duck. Tell me your secrets, Christmas duck. Open your mind to me. This is gonna be a long stream. It's just kind of contextual about what you can actually interact with. Then I guess it's better than like straight up pixel hunting, but we'll see. There's a note. Old right. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It is impossible. Please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad crossed out anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. The plot thickens. Or I guess begin you late. <laughs> oh dear. First quest is getting out of the house. Christmas duck. You did give me your secrets. I didn't even see that. <laughs> now it's a good old Christmas duck.
work from Doom House. Travel time one hour ten minutes. That is a terrible commute. I think I've had that commute before. Who the hell just keeps all this shit? <laughs> I guess that's your official like junk drawer right near the front door. I might have to turn the mouse sensitivity down. This is kind of crazy. I don't think I really need the uh, jerkiness you would need in a shooter. Hey, the first thing I do when I'm home from college is I'm checking the ducks and the pots and the closets. Super creepy house, too. It's a weird setup. Turning on all the lamps. I'm super scared of the dark. <laughs> That's right, I knew you could grab this damn skull. <laughs> it's made in Mexico, oh my goodness. Good job, skull. My old track trophy. Alright, she's a long jumper. It was four years ago. What else was she doing? One of my trophies. Girls 100 meter relay. Okay, so, I'm, well, I can't... There's no button for shouting to mom and dad, so... Are people still moving into this house? Well, apparently so. Ooh, that's a lot of money for moving, damn. Dear Katie, what the? so much has changed, even just since you've been away. Journal. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, hmm? I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Did I just find this journal? I don't understand. Alright, I gotta turn this sensitivity down. I'm jerking my ass around too much. If you turn it down, that makes it less sensitive, right? <laughs> there we go. Aw, oh, I wanna read the entire magazine right here. Band-Aids. Hopefully I don't need them. Cleansing powder. Okay, the journal. Yeah, I did see the show in Mexico. I didn't know if that had any semblance of anything. Alright, my whole goal right now is to turn off every light, turn on every light in this house. Every light is being turned on. Because it's the 90s, we don't give a shit about conservation yet, right? Or maybe we do. When was Captain Planet on? It was probably right in Captain Planet's heyday. <laughs> All right. There's a real attractive family. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Yep. It, Dad looks like a dad, all right. <laughs> See, I don't want to go in there. Creepy. Press 2 or M to check your location of the house. Ah, okay. This house is super creepy, by the way. Who the hell likes long hallways nowadays? Like a gothic house. I mean, where do you even go to get to the... Alright, I'm going upstairs first. Turning stuff on. There's no goddamn... Entrance. It's just... Hallways and creepy thunderstorms outside. Ah, this is a terrible idea. Hey, there's something I can examine. Temporary personnel transfer. Bruce Pendleton. 
burn operation. Janice Greenbrier. Is that the mom? She works for Flintlock Forestry Station, senior conservationist. <laughs> I was just talking about conversation. Conservation. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Can I wait, grab a pencil? Grab pen. What can I do with said pen? I may need to examine pen. Yep, the pen is blue. The pen is blue! The goddamn pen is blue. <laughs> oh man, I have to read cursive. Cooking class, take apron, Wednesday, cooking. I know, I remember reading that the reason they actually set it in the 90s was so that you would have an adventure game where this kind of thing made sense. Because otherwise you would just look at somebody's fucking Facebook page or something like the Royal Blue. <laughs> That's right. But it's interesting, like, because this is how life used to be. You'd have all these fucking day planners and actual shit written down. I think even our folks' generation are starting to put everything on the computer now. Shit's just going away. Cook the big meal for Terry and Sam. So those are a lot of cooking classes. Crab comb. Well, I guess I have to pick one of these creepy hallways, because there's nothing but creepy hallways in this game. Ooh, pack of cards. Controlled burn. Okay, that was what the thing was about. Burn operation. Obviously, the game does not take place in California, because I'm pretty sure they don't need controlled burns there. Oh, that's right, this takes place in Oregon. Smoke will likely run here. So, Mom was in charge of that. Just gonna make it look like somebody came through and just rummaged through this entire house. I'm gonna have everything open. Batmobile! Potty mouth! Oh, Bratmobile! Or Sam. Sam is the uh, sister. Whoa. It's a mixtape. Excellent. It's empty. It's... Oh, there we go. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. It was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape, and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Mixtape. So I do have stuff. Passport. Where did you go to college? Got it on my Europe trip. Can I look at that? It's not. Amsterdam. Oh boy. So you were expanding your mind. <laughs> oh god, there's radiation here. <laughs> Just open the door and suddenly it's fall out. Stop leaving every damn light on in the house. Oh, God. <laughs> He's speaking to me through the notes. You knew I was doing that. You're as bad as your sister. Yep, I'm bad. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. <laughs> Daniel's gonna shove it. I, Samantha Greenbrier, I'm 17 years old. Oh, jeez. Independent, fully functional human being. You're angsty as crap, aren't you? 
cool that it actually looks like it's handwritten though. Three years old for me, yet you allowed to go all the way across an ocean on a continent. Hey, three years is a big deal at that age. Or Mr. Car is your daughter. Okay. Nobody in this house, but I am definitely gonna turn on. Play too many zombie games. I gotta close the door behind me. God, I can open all these things. TV was left on. That's kind of weird. Another blue cup. The Super Nintendo is missing. Everyone, drop everything. We have got to find the missing Super Nintendo. Holy sh. Adventurous the cat turns. I don't that a real game. I don't know. There's a note here. Can we grab that? Oh my god. <laughs> kick, 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 kick. I remember doing these. I had uh, I had a whole notepad full of Mortal Kombat 2 moves I had to write down feverishly. And it was the same way, too, because that's how they did them in the magazine. Sounds annoying. Why would you have a TV on and the Super Nintendo missing? Curiouser and curiouser. Is this the mixtape? Yes, it is. Okay. I can't actually open. No, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Break your drawers, crap. Oh no. I can't look in these things. Alright. Can we just throw? Alright, we can. Excellent. Just gonna litter this whole area. Start taking clothes out. Oh, crap. I'm supposed to be looking for a number combination? Good. I forgot there was a stereo there. I just want to play these games. We need to fucking find the Super Nintendo, guys. Oh, what? You can look at these? Scrutinize or stare. Am I supposed to be able to do this? <laughs> Oh, yeah, even the thing's open. Beckoning for a cassette, as it were. Yeah, okay, now you can interact with it. Does it just play it automatically? It's so cool, yeah, yeah. Sure yeah, does. we're so cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool, schmuck. <laughs> Something hidden in there, it's gonna be painful of getting it out. That's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Hi, Lonnie. Drop to the cat on a motorcycle, alright, that sounds cool. Oh, uh, this is where they send it back to each other? It even looks like two different handwriting styles. Awesome. That was pointless. I can crouch. Of course I can. Sneaky, sneaky. 
God, there's notes everywhere. People are slobs. Metalworking and engraving. It's harsh. Man. I can pick up all these highlighters. I'm sure that's necessary. I guess I'm in Sam's room. What is the point of this? I'm overwhelmed with how little direction I get. <laughs> I'm so used to having my hand held through games. I remember that poster. Steggy, it's you and me against the world. Into the trunk. Oh no, Steggy. Oh. You've led me to a crumpled note. You beautiful Stegosaurus, you. Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Wait, who the hell are these people? Student name Yolanda DeSoto? Oh, Lonnie. That was your friend? Why the hell would you have this note? I guess, yeah, you probably can't wear liquor stuff to school. I'm sure they frown on that. lights on in here. And it's still pretty bare. I guess I'm still looking for a password to the damn thing. Oh, this looks fantastic. Change my way. Why can I inspect all these things? <laughs> I guess why not? Creative writing track would be perfect for you. She is probably a junior or senior in high school now. Nice creative writing. Full scholarship. Sounds good. Certainly seems the creative sort. Alright, Sam, your room is a dead end. Thought I could find a Super Nintendo here, but I can't. Also, don't know how to get into your locker. I don't know why you have a locker in your room anyway. That's weird. Let's inspect your closet, because that makes a lot of sense. Is there a light in here? Yes. Man, Sam had this in like the. <laughs> so, this is my character's thoughts on the objects coming up as object names. That's kind of clever. This is a trapper keeper. Oh wait, there's something back there. I have a feeling this is how you're going to find a lot of these things, isn't it? A Bible! We should hang on to that in case of vampire attacks or something. Oof, spooky. Landed right on the spine, what are the odds? Add a plaque. Huh. <laughs> things to examine. Note! The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Frame Threads. Allegra. Is this a story she wrote? Boy, this is long. She should be in creative writing. This is very creative.
88 Dry Creek Road. Well, that's a four number we can try. 1888. Is it a cat you have? On the floor with you, item. Let's try 1888. Nope. Ocelon. Still no Super Nintendo. Apparently TV itself's not even hooked up to cable. We couldn't get anything there. Alright, well that's probably enough in this room then. Oh. There we go. Now we turned on. Kurt Cobain just died. Welcome to 1995. AIDS in Africa. Oh man, the nostalgia, it's so pointless. <laughs> uh, let's see, Creepy Hallway Part 2. See, I'm going to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? Hell yeah, that was like 94. Came out last weekend. <laughs> They're actually literally passing notes to each other in writing. That's hilarious. It is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Uh, that's kind of funny right there. The thunder is a little ominous. Cheeseburger barfing. Bathroom, part two. I'm sure we'll find answers here. Toilet well, paper. We should just have some. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened here? Right, red right hand, semi permanent hair color. Oh, god damn it. It's just fucking red hair dye. Ah, uh, I totally fell for it. Son of a bitch. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. <laughs> she Bastards. said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Yep. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Oh. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Sam might be gay for the ladies and also be extremely creative which means this story will most likely end in terrible tragedy so if there's one thing I've learned about gays in every media it's that they can apparently never be happy hey there's a door already open am I gonna get confused I'm already confused shit turned around too fast Alright, that's that's where I came out of. <laughs> there we go, another bedroom. Okay, why are the drawers already open? Somebody's already rummaged through this place. It's just now picking up on that. Can I actually interact with objects while looking at them? I guess not, just lets me look around them. So, surely opening mom's purse would be something that you'd want to do when you were searching for somebody. London. I'm in the channel. Ah, something I sent. 
All the way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. So I wonder how long has she been away? So she was doing a whole, like, international thing. And meanwhile, Sam is discovering her own sexuality. Earth, Wind, and Fire. And Willie Nelson. Awesome. Got your Bible. Unknown dimension literature. What? Bible on the bed. Everyone on the bed. Coaster on the bed. Why are these drawers already open? Somebody was like trying to leave quickly, I think. That's a lot of goddamn blue jeans. You think you're gonna scream? You will see a grown man wet his pants if something jumps out at me at this point after how everything quiet has been. In fact, if a, lar if a loud enough thunderclap hits, I will probably just take off the headphones and run. Nice. Latex condom. Boy, I'd sure like to live in one of those. <laughs> Nero. It's funny because the brand is Trojan. Put in inventory, Katie. Alright, we'll put it back. Who wants to be digging around their fucking sock drawer looking for a condom at the right moment? That's, this is a terrible idea. There's nothing I don't hate right now. That's your description for a condom? That's kind of odd. Seriously, though. Nobody wants to be digging around in their sock drawer <laughs> during those moments. Son of a bitch, people. Where are the Super Nintendos? President's Men, Butch Cassidy, The Fugitive. These are all checking out, all right. Sound music. Old stuff. Silence of the Lambs, Bridge Over the River Kwai. Definitely some uh, mom and dad movies in there. <laughs> stuff. It's just weird. Oops. Examine. Mitten. Our cat. Caitlin, age five. Well, the cat must have been special, because what's-her-face had the collar in a room. Caitlin, age five. Is this cat still alive? It seem like it. No, don't look in the hamper. Come on. Closet with a light already on. What is going on? Wow. That is very much a family photo. <laughs> Good lord, these people are ugly. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, the little girl's kind of cute, I guess. But the baby's kind of creepy. Dad's weird Al, clearly. The woman is just jacked up looking. I'm sure they're lovely people. Dear Jan, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. What a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids are As for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. Ranger Rick, you got to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. What? No. Mom's going after some stud ranger friend? <laughs> Handwritten note from her friend. Do they live together? I mean, you're going to have your friend's note telling you about this stud at work, and you're going to have it right next to your bedside? <laughs> Is the dad that clueless? I don't know. That's pretty clueless. Salmon bookmark. Look at how clever we are. There's a source for literature. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. 
Okay. Now, Rick wasn't the dad, right? The ghost of Mitten Slot in the family. Oh god, please don't have to. I don't want to deal with the demon dad. Take your time, I'm glad to have it. What's the book? Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grants. Damn you, Walt freaking Whitman. Everybody has three ring binders with nothing inside. I find this perplexing. What a weird closet. Exactly. I swear to God, if any of these doors like close or anything, they look like a ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Maybe she was into that kind of stuff. Since this is a super creepy house. die in this one. Ugh. After the honeymoon. Rediscovering your spouse. Personally, spiritually, and sexually. <laughs> With comfortable, plain-looking white people on the cover. Ah, there's a, there's a nice book. Flush toilet. Why? Why can I turn the faucet? Why are you going to be these things to do? Nothing of worth in this entire bathroom. Screw you, bathroom. That is the cabinet. It's the same stuff. I'm glad these don't have the mirrors on them because I would never open those. Or I never close them. Because that's when the fucking murderer is sitting behind you. Still going. Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing any more. Oh, so... So Katie's never lived in this house before? She doesn't have her own room? Huh. That's a shitty place to be. So you guys already knew came home on such short notice. Okay, so they like haven't been gone for very long. They knew I was coming home. Something, some event happened that drew everyone away. Composition book, Samantha Greenbrier. Ghost Hunter Journal. Oh, God. No, I don't want this place to be haunted. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from a carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was pot yesterday. <laughs> Presence in the TV room. Bonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are your favorite other side. Oscar is definitely here. Possible ectoplasm in the probably leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, Sam. You're asking what my... R -O oh, ROTC. J-R-O-T-C ribbons meant. Here is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. <laughs> Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. <laughs> Adventure training. I am a born adventurous, and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. You didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Aw, oh, they're so cute. 
Lonnie seems adorable. And Sam seems angsty, and this is all gonna end terribly. Probably be equally terrible. Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. How's this Ranger Rick? And she's his supervisor. Gave him straight fives. <laughs> Indispensable during the course of the prescribed pre burn preparation execution. This end, I'll be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Damn, Janice. You evaluated the hell out of him, didn't you? Damn, damn, Brief second, let's try to go back in. Oops. Uh, Alright, what are we doing here? So this is the painting room, I guess. So many notes everywhere, holy crap. Halloween show. When was that? Didn't they say it was June? Oh, another... Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. She's such a teenager. Between two songs, <laughs> Lonnie leaned over and said... How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Secret passage. Oh, I didn't even see the cassette player. I was in a library, I noticed something in the corner, and I found a secret passage, and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. It's actually showing me a map, too. Okay, so, bathroom, closet, mom and dad's room. Oh, it connects mom and dad's closet. Well, I was there. I haven't gone to the library yet. Maybe I have to go to the library to get to it, and I can't get to it from the closet. Ugh, do I have to? Secret message marked on map. Oh, good. Marks on my map. Thank you, modern video game conveniences. Trying to spin this for Sam. Okay, I can check these tapes. All right, I'll go back and play the cassette. Captain Allegra and first mate. Your costume, my costume. <laughs> so I guess. Wait, which one's the butch? <laughs> that was the that was the short story. She was reading was Captain Allegra. 
Oh, that's right. Lonnie's the army chick, so she's going to be the tough one. But it's like... Oh, yeah, I guess it's June. I guess maybe you can still plan for Halloween. Seems kind of early. Whoa! Oh, boy. The table just transforms. Instant sewing machine. Grab lid. Oh, boy. He saved her from the raging flames, and then things really heated up. <laughs> Wildfire. It's a smut book. Leroux. What's the author? Opal Leroux. Yeah, that's that's somebody's real name, I'm sure. Wildfire. Alright, where was the cassette? I have cassettes. There's a cassette player somewhere here. Oh. Oh, it's a damn answering machine thing. not the 90s. Uh, that's that is god awful. Ah, so it does have the secret passage in there. Nice. I guess you need to go back to mom and dad's room. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Is that the attic? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. It looks like a damn answering machine. I don't blame her. Alright, so we need to go back to Mom and Dad's closet. Aha! Creepy! Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House Investigation Log, Hidden Compartments Found 3, Library, Upstairs Hall, and Foyer, Evidence of the Supernatural Discovered, 0, the search continues. So I assume these will all mark on the map now, there's one in the library, Foyer, and Sam's room. Excellent. Drop my phone. <laughs> Whoops, a doodle. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Wow, my video stream cannot keep up with. At least my app can't keep up with it. The chat seems to be working okay, though. All right, so. Multiple floors. Okay, so I could go back and go to this secret panel while I'm upstairs, because I think that's the last thing upstairs. <laughs> I'm trying to put my phone in an angle where I don't have to look down quite as obviously. Yep. Alright, so let's actually go back up. Try to find that one secret panel. Was cross okay. So it should be in here. Yep. Ouija board. Uh, 
that's creepy. Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? <laughs> creepy. Alright, what is this? Oh, half of Sam's locker combo. I didn't even get to... Let's see. That's kind of a dumb video game thing. Who would actually tear that up and then put it in different spots? It's kind of crazy. Alright, I think that's... The only other thing up here is the attic, which I can't get to, so I think I've exhausted the entire upstairs. So why don't we take Creepy Passageway downstairs? Super creepy. Oh, it was pitch ass dark, too. Yep, that's super creepy. Great, there's no lights on. Turn lights on, please. Gentleman magazine. Women of Wisdom. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> Dad's a writer. And Mom's a forest ranger. It's an interesting combination. So where was panel number dose? This corner somewhere. Boom. Just put random shit in these panels. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. Uh oh. I was turned toward her. My steamy. eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Adjusting to the dark. Oops, hang on one second. combo. That's not Sam's combo. Oh boy, apparently he's uh, not doing very well on the writing side. Editor is not pleased with him. What does 0451 mean, though? Something to do. I think that's a red herring. Something under that newspaper. Ha! I am an He's trying to name his book, I take it. Called the accidental pariah, didn't you? That book was. Yeah. Accidental pariah. All right.
right, so that was the library. There's one more secret panel to find. Oh, I guess we're in the actual mining area. Ah, here we go. I think that's the combination we just saw, which was... O... Four... Five... Oscar Mason. That's the ghost that we think is lived here. To my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbuyer Jr. Oh, so he's <laughs> I'm trying to go home. Okay, so Oscar is Dad as Terrence, which is the dad's uncle. So that's why this guy died and left his house to his nephew. Wow. And then he writes all that. Okay. I don't know if that was. Super info. Ah, oh, the sound design. It's eerie. Everything is very soundy. <laughs> very strong sound. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. This is a joke, right? Uh, there's a three ring binder in every single room, and no nothing, it never has anything in it. This guy is super into JFK. Or I guess that was his last book, wasn't it? Crumpled page. Something from his book. Matter transference on a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. Wow, this is straight up like typewriter too. Fate of the galaxy. So he's writing science fiction now? <laughs> well, as long as we don't see Mick Jack a dull boy, I think we'll be okay. Is he just writing a uh, copy now? Yeah, they did put a lot of detail. It's kind of crazy. So this is definitely, if he's struggling as a writer, he's having to just do, like, advertising stuff. It's interesting how much backstory you can get from all just items laying around. You can piece together somebody's whole life, almost, or at least their current situation. Plus, they handily leave all these nice little open forms for you. Wouldn't be a very good game if you had to dig through like 50 stacks of papers to try to find the useful information, I suppose. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Fresh on floor runs open and disrupt circuit wire strip. So that's why the lights were flickering when I first got in the house, which creeped the shit out of me. Issue will not be addressed. Black Cat Electrical Company. It's fantastic. Just open all these things. What a weird, like, cabinet. Just put any of that. Oh. Alright, so we've made it through. We're actually coming back up to the one hallway now. Oops. It is, yeah. Especially the thunderstorming going on constantly. Very ominous. Hallways are so... Okay, so we've come in a circle now. 
So this is the first hallway I would have gone down. I'm just going to leave everything open. Oh, this is a useful one. So there's no light here. So, so that's... That would be her burgeoning lesbian girlfriend. Or the sister's girlfriend. Lonnie DeSoto. Pink hair. Okay. So now we know what she looks like, I guess. Obituary. That's the uncle. Died last month in his home. As of when? The house will be the home for the rest of his life. That's always creepy. I think. <laughs> I think people should move around. It's too creepy. They live in their house all their life. Seldom seen outside his home. A few Terrence Green Bar as well in Spirit of the People of Boone County. Okay, so that mystery is solved about who that guy is. But it looks like there's a side thing that his ghost is, like, haunting this place, apparently. But no actual evidence to that. It's one of the postcards I sent from Paris. Man, this chick has been around. So many Parisian things, including eating la petite de jour. No idea if I'm saying that right. And wearing a beret. She wore my favorite sister. I guess she's been away for a while. How's it? First day at Goodfellow High School. This must be to Sam. Positive attitude. <laughs> crossed off everything except a positive attitude. Oh, oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Why is it a Psycho House? Ah, creepy. Another TV that's left on. More cassettes. Alright, seriously, I don't want to listen to these anymore. <laughs> All so terrible. First non god awful one. Oh, yeah, here it is. We need a half page review for the October issue. It's about two weeks to give us the copy for edit. Huh. So I guess he does that job too. He kind of does reviews of stuff. Oh man, I bet all of these are appropriate for 95. X Files was for yeah, Labyrinth. <laughs> I don't think there was an 80s movie before Robocop. Mom's old work mother. Mom's a forest ranger. Alright. I actually prefer the oppressive creepiness. It's 
that book dad wrote. This is the other one. Accidental savior. Wait, didn't he write another one called Accidental Pariah? High class political thriller. 1978. This was a while ago. so he hadn't maybe written anything in a while. Okay. Well, now we're getting more of the dad's backstory as a writer, I guess, <laughs> which isn't all that compelling, but I guess it's kind of cool that the information is there. Look at all these VHS tapes. Airplane, Moonraker, Blade Runner, Director's Cut. God, I... Holy shit, my mom did this for everything when we started getting VHS tapes. She fucking recorded every movie and they were all written on with those labels. Holy crap. So much X-Files. <laughs> so much X-Files. Because everybody was like, holy shit, we can record things that happen on TV. Fantastic Voyage and Top Gun. That's a good night right there. <laughs> the Time Machine and Clue. Another great night. I'm coming over to this house. Even if it's haunted. Yeah, in fact, not only that, but if you notice, every single room has had the, uh, the entertainment systems pulled out, so I don't even understand that because they are obviously recording like crazy. And that one room had uh, Super Nintendo cartridges, Sam's room. Dark crystal. Excellent. But no system, so yeah. Either that or it's just a video game thing where they're like, we don't want you to actually grab all these VHS tips and try to put them in. <laughs> Not this might have. Making friends. Aw, oh, his dad's trying to help us. You know that oh, feeling yeah. where the first moment you see someone so I guess it's like they have a Sam, big really. gold star around them and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. Oh, uh, was I supposed to listen to this she's one first, She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, so I was probably supposed to listen to that recording first. Yeah, because you guys were... made your little pillow fort here, okay. Kind of went backwards, I guess. I probably wasn't supposed to go upstairs right off the bat. No coaster for you, Mug. Matchbooks are always clues in every game ever. Not this one, though. <laughs> Just a plain matchbook. Where are all the missing entertainment systems? The heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbrier, grade two. Aww. Turtle people. So she was writing shit even at this young age? Holy crap, she was writing about her superhero at this young age. She had really good penmanship at this age. Captain Black of the Black Ship. <laughs> the phonetic spellings are great. Very cool. I know there's nothing really else in here. Alright, so there's one more hidden panel somewhere. Which I'm 
hoping is the other half of her locker combination. So we haven't actually gone down this hallway yet. I guess we have some choices on where we need to go. Let's look at the hidden panel first. Oops, it's right there. Private, do not read. Ninth grade. Wow, so she's still writing this book. Holy crap. You're a very creative person. The Queen Amazonian. It's pretty cool. It's all like action adventure. Oh, that's probably some psychotherapy right there. A character went go literally transformed from a man into a woman in her story. Transformed by the Amazonian queen. That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. Wow, so that's, yeah, that's probably telling right there. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got Sam's locker combo. Which is probably important. Uh, guys, we've got some options on where to go, then. We can either go up and open the locker, we can check the uh, left side of the hallway, or the entire right side of the first floor, I guess. Where do you think we should end up? So I think I've explored. Yeah, because upstairs is just Sam's locker, and then the attic, which I don't have access to yet. But there's still a lot more downstairs to explore, certainly. Oh, these are dated, too. Yeah, a big gold star was way ahead of these. I'm thinking I might want to put off the locker, just because that might, um, you know, move the story really far ahead, maybe. lights that I have to turn on. Music room. Holy crap, this is a big damn house. Music room says a record player. Samantha Greenbrier. Low are two stories. Events are all out of order. The menstrual cycle. Jeez. I am produced in the testicles. <laughs> wow. That's that's fantastic. And you expect a damn high schooler to make it through this without giggling? Oh lord, and she wrote it like a creative thing, didn't she? <laughs> she wrote a whole story. Meanwhile, in her guts, an ovum starts to develop. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the Philippines, too. Just in the midst of this, like, creative story. Wow. <laughs> See me. Polish resistance is a daring spy and saboteur. Since the lining of the uterus is not enough needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. What? He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn blood sheets. S's egg will not be meeting a sperm, it dissolves. Okay, this just got weird. Yeah, I can see this see me. 
definitely an angsty damn teenager we have. Now we're talking. Somehow I always knew that someday we be through. Now that it's happened. Unable to follow to publish your follow up to the accidental pariah. Despite the low sales of the accidental series, we're going ahead with publication of the second book. Hopes of the series catching on. Can't get you off my mind. Oh, wow. And this was way in 1976. So he was actually a writer way back in the maybe 60s, early 70s. It's all about the mystery. Dad's a struggling writer down. for a year. Oof. Let me get the record scratch in there, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, where are we at? There's another room here, and one over there. It's just a closet. Uh, super dark in here. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Thank you for having Danner over to the new home. He's telling his friend Samantha knew it very much. Danny asked if he could plan to Samantha's Nintendo Street Fighting Tape. <laughs> street Fighting Tape. And I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. To my house anytime. Sincerely, Mary Schultz. Okay. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. <laughs> and Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. He's got all these books that didn't sell. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. So many books. That's why I needed the big house, I guess. I guess the whole point is just kind of collecting all these journals of Sam's, which is kind of interesting. And then that will lead to finding out where the hell everybody is. More drawers to open. I haven't opened a good drawer in a while. Oops, So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. <laughs> at least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. I totally did these out of order. So now I'm getting all the early Lonnie ones. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad the attic. What? So the attic wrote to me? Whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. Ah, another locked door. Terrible. I don't even know what... Oh, the basement. Great, so I don't have access to the basement or the attic. That's annoying. Oh, I guess that's my first job. Okay, well now we can go to the locker, although there is a whole other side of the house also. Does this lead to another hallway? Oh, it's locked. Okay. What does that lead to? I didn't say. Alright, well, definitely the locker then. Oh, yeah, it probably is just 
the attic something. We must know. Alright, so locker combination was what? 051 and Of course you have a picture of one Yep, that looks like a real person <laughs> She looks not okay Lonnie <laughs> came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked it up a notch. Look at all the tape everywhere. She had a lot of pictures here. It was just Lonnie. Well, we got the basement key now. Oh boy. <laughs> Finally, Jillian Anderson. <laughs> Gosh, Sam. Sam's got the lady pornos in the locker. Alright, well now we make it to the basement, I guess. Can figure out which way to go. Something so yeah, this house is super creepy. Whole layout. I wonder if the game will get more linear now. More couple pages. There, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tom. Yes, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Ah. Uh. Creepy basement mobile. Super creepers basements. Light, please. Sam Analani. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know. So you could say we're dating. Hmm. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, where it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Thanksgiving dinner at each other's houses somehow. Oh, the sterling taste and refined air. Let's do it all again same time next year, shall we? Alright, so everything's going well for these two. 
so far. Furnace, always creeper. Is that a light? Reproductive system worksheet. Oh, so this is hers. Check plus, yep. <laughs> He got the see me, or uh, Sam got the see me. Wow, all of Katie's shit is still in boxes here. Yeah, it's definitely telling a story here. <laughs> There's Katie's, or Catelyn's plaque. That's a cool name, too. Caitlin, I guess it should be, shouldn't it be? Because it's K A I T, Caitlin. I like that better than Katie. Just playing Katie's name. All right, I guess we're supposed to be finding something. Wow, this basement is huge and creepy. That that lamp works. All right. Oh yeah, I guess it does. It's attached right there. Here's Samantha. Admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program. There you go. You got into college. Everything is going swimmingly. Why was there a crowd of people to welcome me home? Alright, so Sam made it into freaking school. That's good. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? Oh, to yeah. where? Your girlfriend's She army. said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Hmm. Well. There's other fish in the sea. Yes. Granddad's books. Nice. Grandpa's a writer, too. his face cut out. That's kind of weird. That's true. You can probably end up visiting her at basic training at least. Ani and Sam definitely need a 14 karat gold heart. Is these her clothes she had packed? Look like her stuff. I forget to read the descriptions of stuff. Letter from Granddad. New published book. Author's first published manuscript. Oh, so that was his first book. So he published two total books, and the second one sucked. That sucks. The sequel sucked, and then they were like, yeah, you're going to have to write, like, stereo reviews now. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> His own father, the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional deus ex machina. The great authors speak of their likes, life's milieu in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. Jeez, even his note to his son is fraught with prose. But I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. For the father's love and encouragement. Wow. The dad's like failed writing thing has just gotten crazy interesting. Cause his dad was a good writer that was like, yeah, I guess you published your first book, but it kind of sucked. Is that Oscar? Oscar Mason's Pharmacy Downtown. Well-known 
fixture of Main Street. Terry Greenbrier, age 8, that's the dad. So, I guess there's also mystery, oh great, a light's on in there, about what happened with, that made this the Psycho House. I think that's Mom's citizenship stuff. Naturalization. What was she? Certificate of... Naturalization or something? <laughs> Seattle, Washington. July 20th, 1972. Okay. That's mom's citizenship stuff. Probably shouldn't just be laying here. We gotta check the open door with the light on it, right? Holy crap, this basement area is enormous. Yeah, Sam is definitely the focus, given all the audio stuff. Can't read any of those crumbled pages. Alright, where's the nearby cassette? Why was this on? First mate lost on a mystery. Uh, mysterious island. Oh boy. This is some like dirty shit they're writing to each other. <laughs> Tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Oh boy. Dark room is their lesbian porno theater. We have got to get to this attic, you guys. Crap, this just keeps going. Wow. And look at this, I haven't even gotten to this side of the house yet. And there's still a whole... The whole... That's right, because I haven't seen a kitchen or dining area in any of that. Oh crap, I don't know a safe combination. I missed a room there. Do I need to go this way? try to do this in uh, one night if I can, but man, there's certainly a lot of house left. Oh, there's the cassette. I knew it, because there's... Every single time there's a cassette player. Wow, she actually bought that pen. Bernadette Gabinski. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? 
And she was like, probably. <laughs> Fuck better. <laughs> but she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. So the safe is just optional. I'll be able to look out, I guess. It seems like at this point, like everything I've done has to have led to here. So obviously, there should be some important story stuff. Once again, the light's already on. Sure here. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Hmm. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Our girlfriend's too free-spirited. Mason's pharmacy changes hands. And then there's a whole side story about the, was this the great uncle that I guess lived here first? Oh, look at this. Hidden passage behind the bookshelf. Slowly walking up the stairs. Oh crap, more things open, another secret passage. So this was just her. She had this whole fucking basement to herself, I guess. Scraps everywhere. She there's some smells like teen spirit video. The thunder, I swear. Okay, running about bands, I guess. Women outlaws. <laughs> she was cutting and highlighting. Alright, so where's the... There it is. I guess we have to listen to all of these. It is terrible. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Fake. 
a school property with profanity. Oh boy, that's the principal. Letting the issue drop. Only bring more unwanted attention to yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Somebody probably wrote something derogatory. I don't we go. get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. <laughs> Rebellious young lesbians, you. Oh my goodness, where are we? Basement, guest room. I don't even understand which way to go at this point. We can either go this way, which leads up. Okay, this looks like it goes to a secret compartment to upstairs. It do in that spare room, okay. Oh, we don't need to go that way then. I feel like if this game had achievements, <laughs> one achievement would be turning on every light in the house. Ah, so now we have made it into this side of the house. Normally locked. Unlocked from the inside. There we go. Okay. Had to go through an entire secret. Hello. Salon Josephine. That's named Jan Greenbrier. Look at you getting all, getting your hair did. <laughs> I don't know why that's important. Maybe it is. Oh, did I miss a note somewhere? Regional Conservation Management Director. And meanwhile, the white the mom is doing quite well for herself. So if this is just open in here, that means the parents were definitely of were reading this, I take it. My mom was such a bitch last night. Yeah, her she's the one that has the long commute. You have to have a mom every day. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Oh, that's the... That's Lonnie saying that. Yikes. Anger personified. Froth. Teenagers of the year. Secret passageway earlier. Oh, it was? There was a note somewhere? Did I miss the one that's in the, uh, here? Ah, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Ironbound, Kevin. I did not see that. Ah! 
This looks like a combination. 196.3. Which did not get added. It's a pharmacy thing. I guess I can try the safe for that. It didn't get added to my notes though, did it? 196.3. Okay. Okay, I must have spun around too fast. So, where was the safe? This house by now. One, nine, six, three. Aha! Aha! Clove oil. Old timey medicines, what this is. Oscar to Mary Greenbrier. Oh crap, I have to try to read this. I Unite, which will be my last appeal to go unanswered. Dear sister, one way or the other, I feel a prisoner as on an island, with no jailer, no human itself endlessly, endlessly screeching for relief. In years since transgression, I have fought my absolution. Uh, this guy's got some problems. I removed myself from all temptation. I can. I'm really having trouble reading this. Since mother, since mother's passing, I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin. Be treated as human again. In the air of human spirit once more. By grace ever a wretch like me could be saved. Why do you need saving? I shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be with the brothers of the law. Jeez, dude. It's dramatic. I mean, yeah, I appreciate the. This guy was having some problems, I guess. Morphine. I wonder if Sam had access to all these drugs. Hmm. Not sure what that means, but the guy was definitely having his own problems. Just made it into a new area of the house. Ha! Note stuck in there, okay. Earth, Wind, and Fire concert. Seat 7, adult, no re entry. No cameras. Say how many. That's just one ticket, I guess. This is a whole other section of the house, isn't it? This skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you, Lonnie. Treasure it always. That's the skull out front, I guess. Uses. Wow, I didn't get that at all. That kind of makes sense, though. I mean, if he had, like, demons he was wrestling. Oh, that would mean it was, uh, the dad. Terry, that's kind of jacked up. There is... There we go. This person we still can't examine. Ah. Two 
two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. She... Ah, she went to a concert with that dude. Which could mean something, could mean nothing. That was the magazine that she made. Another one of the postcards I sent. God, these look like real postcards. I wonder if they are. Or at least just Google images, maybe. <laughs> the Catholic Church has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. Imagine Sam being pissed about that. Freaking the sister gets to go off and tour damn near all of Europe. Sam, you leave your shit everywhere. Your dining room is just covered in papers. What the hell? It's just weird. Why does she have these notes slid around? Alright. So meanwhile, the mom might be having an affair, the dad's a failed writer. Everybody's got a story. probably the wife writing that to the husband see she supports you to an extent good lord this house is huge Alright guys, I'm going to leave the stream going, I'm going to take a brief break to grab another drink and plug my phone in that I've been using to follow along with the chat. <laughs> so uh, don't go anywhere, I'm just going to take a brief break right here and we will continue to finish this puppy up.